एवरीवन वेलकम टू जी एक्सप्लेनेशन सो इन लास्ट वीडियो आई कवर्ड सम टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू थ्री पॉइंट वन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर थर्टी सॉल्व एन सी क्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन गो एंड वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑल्सो यू कैन वॉच डिटेल्ड वीडियो अबाउट सी प्रोग्रामिंग इन माई प्ले लिस्ट ओके सो विदाउट एन फर्दर डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस इज Okay, let me choose another pen for this. Okay, so you can see here I have cut this code because uh, this was uh, there was a mistake in this code. I have written a uh, corrected code here. Okay, so you have to count the number of token in code segment, and the code segment is this. Okay, so this is the code segment. You have to count the number of tokens. So what is a token? A token is the smallest unit of a program. So token can be variable, they can be constant, they can be operators, they can be special symbols, everything. Okay, so you have to count the number of tokens here. So this uh, instead of this code, we'll refer this code. So let's count. So this is one token, one. This is another token. A uh, small bracket, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. Okay, so this is the correct answer. If any confusion, please comment below so that I'll make another video for you. Let's go to second question. What is a C token? The smallest individual units of a C program. Yes. The basic element recognized by the compiler. The largest individual unit of program. No, this is not going going to be the answer. Yes, it is the basic element which is recognized by the compiler. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Let's go to another question. Which of these is a keyword in C language? So before solving this question, you should know how many keywords are there in C language and what are those keywords. Okay, so I have come up with some uh, uh, a slide for you. to refer mm. okay sorry for this so this is these are the number of these are the keywords so see how many keywords we have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 we have got a total of 32 keywords and what are the keywords let's revise once auto double int struct break else long switch case enum register type diff char extern return union continue for sign void do if static while default go to size of volatile constant float sort and unsigned okay so these are the number of keywords i don't know how you are going to remember this just uh, you can have a look one or two times and you will get the picture of this okay so this is our question so sign yes it is a keyword register yes it is keyword go to it is the keyword in amit is the keyword okay so all of these are the keyword okay so the next question is c is a dash language so what if language is c okay so what are the categories of languages we have okay first one is we have got machine level language so machine level language they uh, uh, we have zeros and one so talking about generation of language we have got first generation which was our machine level language in bits and bytes okay it was machine level language second generation it was assembly level language third generation we had middle level language fourth generation we had some dbms and oracle language and fifth generation we have ai language so this middle level language c is called our middle level language this bit level machine level and a uh, assembly level language they are called um low level language and after the middle level language fourth and fifth generation they are called high level language high level language okay so c is a middle level language okay which of the following symbol is used to denote a preprocessor direct statement so what is a preprocessor statement okay so while writing your c program whatever you write above the main code like for example this is the main code c program main code and what you write above the main code you start with a symbol known as preprocessor directory for example has include yes stdio dot h so this is called a preprocessor directory which is used to include the, any type of header file any type of statement in our code okay so b is the correct answer Let's go to another question, which is which symbol is used as a statement terminator in C? 
what is statement terminator 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 means for example if you write a statement printer and if you write here hello world what do you do after writing this what do you do you put a semicolon because you want to end this statement so terminator is nothing but a symbol which is used to end the statement hence d is the correct answer let's go to the question which of the following is an example of compounded assignment statement see what is assignment statement this is a assignment statement in which right hand side value is going to be assigned to the left hand side value yes this is not assignment operator this is a equality operator so all of these are assignment operator but they have asked which of these are this is a compounded assignment operator okay compounded means the form of assignment which you are going to write like this so what does this mean this means a equals to a plus 5 okay so this is example of compounded assignment let's go to next question which operator has the lowest priority which operator has the highest priority so before talking about this we have to see this table okay so i have brought this table for you so if you see here the precedence is there this has got the highest precedence and this has got the lowest precedence remember comma it has got the lowest precedence and bracket small bracket big bracket dot and this point what you would say this this operator it has got the highest precedence we can say after that all the unary operator they have got the highest precedence after that all the arithmetic operator that is into divide and modulus after that only this plus and minus will come okay so you can see this is the table so the question is yes the question is which of this has got the highest priority okay so if you see the table this among this among this this one has got the lowest priority and which operator has got the highest priority so if you this among this unary operator this has got the highest priority so if uh, just like keywords please have a look uh, of this table okay next is which of the following is a ternary operator so what is a ternary operator ternary operator it takes three expressions we can see for example um, we can say the value of z equals to if x is greater than y then the value of z is x else the value of z is y so this is a ternary operator where we take three operands yes and it is represented by this question mark and this colon so we evaluate this expression and if the value is true the value of z will be after the question mark if the value is false the value of z will be after the colon okay so for example if x equals to 10 and y equals to 5 so 10 greater than 5 yes so the value of z will be x what is the value of x it's 10 okay hence this is the uh, ternary operator let's go to next question the typecast operator is okay what is a typecast so a typecast is used to change the type of data okay for example we have int a and suppose you want to change the type of this variable so you can do it forcefully or implicitly or explicitly any way you can do so the method is you can write float here and then you can write a here so it is going to change the type of this a okay so this is the correct operator for typecast okay let's go to next question which is header files in c contain what does the header file in c contain does it contain compiler command does it contain does it contain library function does it contain header information of c program or operator sort file no no so it contains header information of the c program okay what does header file contain it contains header information not library functions okay okay uh, sorry 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 i i think uh, i get i got confused here no header files in c contains so let us see what does what is the header file for example has include an stdio dot okay so this is the header file and what does it contain 
it contain the functions such as printf yes and then clear screen and all i think this contain standard input output functions yes so not clear screen it's printf scanf or we can say string dot h so it contain string handling functions like string length okay so header files in c contain and this is called what is this called this is called library functions okay so i think i was uh, wrong there header files in c contain the library functions okay see sometimes we also get confused next one is operator precedence determines which operator is faster takes less memory takes no argument or evaluated first of course we saw the table it is used to see which operator is, uh, you, is going to be evaluated first so d is the correct answer here identify the wrong statement first of all you have to see what is wrong what is this function char character it is going to put character or print character but here you can see this 65 is not a character it is an integer okay so a is the wrong answer next one is an ampersand in scanf before the name of variable denotes scanf okay percent is d and address of a suppose so what it what it is going to do it is going to provide the it is going to give the address of this variable a yes so it denotes the address let's go to next question so what will be the output of the following code okay so here we have a code uh from here it starts so we can see void name curly bracket static int x equals to 3 okay so first of all the value of x is 3 then x plus plus so value of x become 4 now condition is there 4 is less than equals to 5 yes so print hello okay so we'll print hello here once now it is again asking asking to go to the main function because it is a recursive function a function inside the same function is known as recursive function will go up will go up and see so again we come here static int x equals to 3 okay if the static was not there the value of x would have become 3 again but due to this variable static this is not going to happen we are going to have this updated value only okay so x plus plus now the value of x become 5 so x is less than equals to 5 yes now again it is going to print hello okay so again it is going to call the main function go up static int x so the x value is 5 only because due to a static variable x plus plus so the value of x becomes 6 now 6 less than equals to 5 no it comes out and then this is the answer it is going to print hello twice okay so i think here it should be hello uh, hello and hello okay so what is the option runtime error no hello once no infinite hello no it is going to print hello twice hence d is the correct answer okay let's go to next question how many keywords are available in c okay don't get confused we have got a total of 32 keywords maximum number of elements in array declaration in this this it means if you have int array 5 and 6 so what is the number of elements it is going to cover 5 rows 7 column okay let's see how many elements 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so a total of 35 elements it is going to cover okay let's go to next question array subscripts in c always starts at so if you declare array uh, int a and 10 so what will happen you are going to have an array of 10 elements 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and it always start with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 0 is the correct answer let's go to next question which is not entry control loop what is entry control loop so while studying looping we study three types of looping for loop while loop and do while loop so what happened in for loop we check the condition first and then we went to the body of this loop in while loop same thing we check the condition first then we went to the body of loop do while loop no first of all we went to the body of the loop and then we check the condition yes so for and while loop they are the entry control loop 
वेयर इज डू वाइल इज नॉट एंट्री कंट्रोल सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर डैस एन दिस टू सिंबल्स आर यूज फॉर हैस इंक्लूड एस टी डी आई ओ डॉट एच सी दिस टू सिंबल दे आर यूज टू यूज फॉर फंक्शन कॉल नो फंक्शन कॉल वी डू लाइक दिस एरे नो वी यूज दिस ऑपरेटर फंक्शन डेफिनेशन नो वी यूज स्मॉल ब्रैकेट लिंक टू द हेडर फाइल इट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके वाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन इन सी लैंग्वेज लाइब्रेरी फंक्शंस वी हैव गॉट प्रिंट एफ स्कैन एफ दे आर द लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन दैट वी मेक आर सेल्फ इवन मेन इज अ यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन रिमेंबर बोथ लाइब्रेरी एंड यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन येस सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द लिमिट फॉर नंबर ऑफ फंक्शंस इन अ सी प्रोग्राम लाइक हाउ मेनी फंक्शंस कैन यू क्रिएट इन अ सी प्रोग्राम इट इज ऑफ नो लिमिट यू कैन मेक एनी नंबर ऑफ फंक्शन इन सी प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एवरी सी प्रोग्राम शुड कंटेन विच फंक्शन ओके आई थिंक दिस इज रॉन्ग एवरी सी प्रोग्राम शुड कंटेन विच फंक्शन ओके शुड कंटेन विच फंक्शन प्रिंटर सो स्कैनर मेन येस एवरी प्रोग्राम इट स्टार्ट विद अ मेन फंक्शन लेट्स गो टू नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम द वैल्यू ऑप्टेन इन अ फंक्शन इज गिवेन बैक टू मेन वैल्यू ऑप्टेन इन अ फंक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ मेन फंक्शन वी कॉल इनसाइड दिस वी कॉल अनदर फंक्शन एड ओके एंड सपोज दिस इज द एड फंक्शन नाउ इन साइड दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम वर्क इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न द वैल्यू फ्रॉम हेयर ओके सो विज यूजिंग विच की वर्ड यू आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न द वैल्यू ओके ऑफकोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द रिटर्न द वैल्यू सो रिटर्न की वर्ड इज यूज हेयर विच हेडर फाइल इज एसेंशियल फॉर यूजिंग स्ट्रिंग कंप्यूटर फंक्शन ओके विच हेडर फाइल स्ट्रिंग डॉट एच टेक्स डॉट एच नो स्ट्रिंग कंपेयर डॉट एच टू नो नो सच थिंग हैपन्स स्ट्रिंग्स डॉट एच नो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर वॉट इज द साइज ऑफ इन टीजर एरे डिक्लेयर्ड इन एरे फाइव इन बाइट्स ओके दैट इज सी इन एरे एंड फाइव इफ यू डिक्लेयर दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आर एरे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव What is the size size of the integer array declared? So, if you are taking this integer value as four byte, so four, 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 four plus 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 four four five twenty is the correct answer. If you consider two bytes, it will be ten. The answer will be ten. So this question is a bit a bit confused because we can have the value of integer either as two, either as four. so i think you consider four only the question comes which one of the following is used as a string termination for example if you declare a string int str and if you declare ram so r a m last we are going to put a null character yes i taught you i think we discussed in last videos so this is the correct answer not this okay next one is how do you initialize array in c so we initialize like this this array size and then inside curly braces the values yes so this no this no this of course no so c is the correct answer which one of the following statement will correctly store the concatenation of a string s1 and s2 in s3 we have to concatenate string cat string s1 and s2 and we have to store we have to copy it in string s3 s3 yes we have to copy it in string s3 so for copy we have got string copy function and then s3 and then str cat s1 and s2 so this is going to concatenate s1 and s2 yes s1 and s2 and then it is going to store the value in s3s yes. good so c is the correct answer the f in a function the f in a function and scanf and printf stands for okay f in the function okay it stands for function no format specifier so format specifier are percentage z percentage as no formatted yes 
it is formatted formatted because scanf and printf they stands for formatted input and output okay c is the correct answer fine so that was all uh, for 32 th sorry 30 solved question if you want to make um, if you want me to make more videos for you please comment so that i'll continue with this session now next i am planning to come with the next section of this or maybe with a new subject for example if it is if this was c programming uh, maybe data structure or c or network or anything so please comment in the video thank you and stay safe